You've created your business now. You've received an EIN tax identification number from the government, the IRS, and you now have your tax ID from your state, your business certificate, sales certificate, and resale tax ID from your state. You're now ready to create your account on Amazon.com. When you create your account, you need to use an email account that will only be used for the Seller Central, only for your Amazon.com sales. That way, any information that comes into that email will pertain to your Amazon account. It'll make it much easier uh, to access that information and to stay updated with any notifications that come from Amazon or anything, any matter pertaining to your Amazon business. So let's get into it. Okay, we're now ready to create our Amazon seller account. You're going to need to have proper documentation prepared and have it all lined up so it makes this process effortless, easy, simple for you to handle. Uh, you'll see we'll get this done in about 10, 15 minutes. Everything that I'm going to be discussing here pertains to a business, right? Because all the documentation that we're going to be reviewing and, and making sure that we upload pertains to a business and having business documentation. We'll talk about EIN, which is a tax ID for your business versus uh, signing up for an account using your social security number. Because what we're showing you to do here is not to be an online seller, but to be an online business. And eventually your business, you will not no longer be an operator, meaning you have to be there day to day, but you'll be an owner. You see, I'm able to be in here right now talking with you while the rest of my business is operating, it's working, it's growing larger than it's ever been. Do I handle a lot of day to day operations? Yes, but that's because I love to, not because I have to. I can step away for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and the business will continue to grow. This is the systems that we're going to show you to put in place place so you can get to that same level. So with that being said, everything that I'm going to be talking about here is about preparing the business documentation in order to register a seller account on Amazon. And plus the benefits of selling on Amazon and having a business is all the expenses you could write off, like the miles, like the supplies that you're gonna be purchasing. You can't write those off as an individual, but you can write them off as a business. Pay less taxes. Uncle Sam's got enough from you. You don't need to give him any more, right? So with that being said, let's jump into this. You're going to need your SS4 form, which has your IRS EIN number, or you can use your business certificate from your state, uh, which has your business registration number, or if you're in another country, your country's registration number. You're going to need a US credit card or an internationally chargeable credit card. You're gonna have to have some documentation uploaded into your well already in your computer so you can upload it uh, as part of the registration process um, like the front and back of a driver's license or your passport you're gonna need to have your most recent bank statement with all your information on there and then of course you're gonna have to have the regular stuff like your business name the address of your business uh, your own uh, personal address where you're located and some small uh, information about your business like if you if you're the beneficiary owner or and if there's any other partners that are part of that business once you have all that lined up we're ready to go we'll get this done in 10 to 15 minutes so let's jump in we're going to go to sell.amazon.com and once we're there we're going to click sign up to begin the process 